Hello guys and welcome back to another Toy Command video. Uh, I want to show you this contraption that I've made. You're probably wondering what it is. Okay, it's pretty basic. It's just a jig. And what this is, is for polishing conductors. So the conductors, so we're, we're going to be polishing two at a time, usually when we do this job because we'll be making uh, a set of interconnects or maybe uh, we might need two conductors for each channel so they'll be stretched from here over to here and then we'll tie the wire around this little screw here you see that so I'm going to show you how, how this is done now so we'll uh, we'll get going on that. Right, okay, we've got our wire. I'm just going to do this as an example at the moment. So this is a 0.4mm wire. We're going to push it through there. Now you don't want to get any kinks going in this wire at all. Okay. Because uh, kinks are bad. Because if, if you've got a snag in there or a kink. Right, so I'm going to just push this down this end here and push this through and I'm going to wrap it round the which I'll show you at that end in a minute I'm going to wrap it round the the screw there now I'm going to come back down this end and then I'm going to cut this so far you're always going to have a bit of wastage but then uh, that's a part of doing this anyway so you want to get a tension on that you don't want it too hard just want to get a tension and wrap it around like that so it don't come off uh, make sure the same happens at this end I'll do that one and pull that a bit tighter again don't pull it too tight though you don't want to um, you don't want to take the uh, stretch it at all so there we go so now there's several products you can use to, to buff this up. There's either silver polish or Brasso. Now Brasso is better for, for buffing up copper, really. Um, so we're going to use silver. Now if you're, if you're buffing up 10% silver cladded copper, it's fine. If you're buffing up pure silver, it's fine. But if you're buffing up silver plated copper, then the silver plating, a lot of them are very thin. So really, you don't want to go too mad on it. You only really want to do a gentle buff up. But so what we're going to be doing is just cutting a couple of bits of stockinette rag here. OK, so over a period of time, silver will oxidise as well as any any uh, precious metal will. Um, so we're just going to put a bit of the silver polish in there. Give it a shake, actually, first. Not sure it's... And the beauty of this before I was having to hold it and do it but with this now I can just put that on there just go up and down until it it, um, it gets a really nice sheen now you can keep going up and down uh, for quite a while to work it you really want to get a really nice sheen on it basically you're polishing the surface of the conductor see how much easier it is to do this and it is the uh, any other way of holding it come around there again wrap it round it's slackening off a little bit at the moment so um, I needed to wrap it round the screw a bit more than I did it's unwinding very slightly so the idea is, the reason I've put two holes, so I can do two at a time, which is quite handy really. So let's have a look at this end and see if we can undo that a bit more now. That's it, just tighten that slightly. That's basically tighten it right round like that, you get loads in, there it goes, it's gone, gone nice and tight again now. Probably slacking off at this end a little bit. But um, make sure you, you, you wrap loads of wire around it so you can get a, a nice tension on it. 
And I know uh, all the snake oil police will be uh, laughing their heads off at this point, but um, I think doing this, it gives the, the, the music a bit more insight into uh, the sound and uh, it, it gives more detail, definitely more detail. But remember, these things are subtle changes. So a lot of audio uh, tweaks are subtle changes. It's a bit like when you go up from one one model of a, of an amplifier to the next model in their line, which is only a couple of hundred pound more, or not even that sometimes, the differences are minimal. And uh, it's the same in a way. You, you, they're subtle changes. And I don't mind admitting that on my videos. Other people, they'll big things up and say they're... Um, this is absolutely amazing when it's uh, when it's a subtle change, really. So there you go. Right, so you can see where I've been polishing it. Okay, so we'll just take another cloth now. And what I'd suggest you do is always do this before you're you're about to insulate the cable. And you could wear a pair of rubber gloves. Some, um, for instance, I'll get some over. Well, I've got one here. So you could wear a glove to stop your hands, any acid from your hands or any grease getting onto the cable. And uh, that, that's uh, and wear the the gloves when you're when you're insulating it, either with uh, cotton wool or uh, Teflon tape. So look, you can see how much that's come up really nice and shiny, that wire now. You've got a really nice sheen on that, you see it? So this is uh, just a, you know, a small little project. It's a little jig I made, so I can do two at a time. And, uh, and I think that's it really, so it's quite, quite self-explanatory. This is only a couple of bits of um, melamine board that I've screwed together and put some oak blocks on the end which I've connected the uh, the wires through, these holes that I've drilled. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So uh, all I've got to say is uh, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching, guys.